Hello everyone, my name is Mihai Franku and I will present to you the short paper entitled Modeling and Actuation of Cable-Driven Silicon Soft Robots. The motivation behind this paper lies in the new field of soft robotics and the need to model and control such soft robots. Soft robots are usually created by molding silicon rubber, which is an incompressible elastic material, meaning it conserves its overall volume, just like water and biological tissue. They can be actuated using cables, pneumatic inflation and other methods. The simulation of such deformable bodies is usually done with a finite element method, or FEM. But incompressibility requirements often pose challenges to FEM. My work focuses on accurately simulating cable-driven soft robots, estimating their material parameters and controlling them. I focus mostly on modeling and simulation, but I also work closely with Max Kragbali Nielsen, who during his master's and currently his PhD manufactured and studied soft robots, often using machine learning techniques. In this paper, I set out to make two contributions. One, solve inverse problems like parameter estimation more accurately using mixed FEM. And two, present a clear and practical model of cable actuation using barycentric Mavic. There is, there is a lot of previous work on such inverse problems, and I will mention a few. There has been exciting recent work from ETH Zurich, Inria Lil, or NVIDIA, to name just a few. Of course, there has been a lot of work on capturing and estimating the parameters of deformable bodies, among, of, among which a couple are mentioned from the graphics community. But, that, but there are many other papers on simulation, design and trajectory optimization of soft robots that are not included in this short presentation. I start by presenting the forward model of FEM simulation. This involves solving a nonlinear equation. In the standard form of FEM, this is a minimum point of some discrete energy function. In this paper, I will introduce and use the mixed form of FEM, which solves for a saddle point of a Lagrangian function associated with this energy. I implemented these methods in an open source FEM simulator written in C++ and Python. It uses mainly a Newton method with line search, but other solvers too for solving the nonlinear problem. In this paper, I use the forward model as part of the inverse solver in order to iteratively evaluate configurations of the soft robot. I do not have time here to present all the details of mixed FEM, so I will refer to you to my previous papers on the topic. Briefly, the method is well suited for simulating incompressible materials using meshes of reasonable size. This is mainly due to the ability of avoiding locking, where locking is a numerical phenomenon associated with very stiff materials. It manifests itself by very, very small displacements close to zero in the numerical solution compared to the reality. I will leave you to find all the mathematical and implementation details in the paper and the references therein. The backward model used for solving inverse problems is essentially a least squares problem that tries to minimize the error between the soft robot configuration and some target positions. The optimization variables are the model parameters, for example, the elastic material parameters or the actuation single values, signal values like cable length fractions. I used both gradient-based and gradient-free methods for solving this problem. And for the former, I had to find a way to estimate the gradients without using finite differences. This is a known problem and it has been solved by a method called sensitivity analysis. This allows us to compute the needed gradients by solving a linear system involving the Hessian matrix used in the FEM solver. For mixed FEM, we have to take into account the contribution of the volumetric constraint terms. Again, for details, please consult the paper and the locking proof tetrahedra article. The cable model is based on previous work but it focuses on practical implementation aspects. It is described in full detail in the paper and the code is available as open source. 
It uses springs with variable rest length, barycentric coordinates to map the spring nodes, a regularized elastic potential, and a stable implicit integrator. I contributed some changes for nodes outside the body of the robot so that the simulation looks as realistic as possible. Please see the accompanying video. I found the model to behave close to real life scenarios, as you can see in this picture. but it is strongly affected by numerical parameters and convergence issues. Also, the cables need to be very, very stiff in order for the model to be inextensible. I will turn now to the main results of the paper. I performed parameter estimation using simple but effective scenarios. First, I checked my method using synth synthetic data from the results of a previous simulation of a cantilever beam. Then I used a photograph of a real soft robot, nicknamed Hammerbot, hanging under gravity. I modeled a 3D model of it using the Autodesk Maya software and set it as a target in the inverse problem. Standard FEM failed to find the correct value of the Poisson ratio. Whereas mixed FEM is to avoid locking in all scenarios, found the true volume conserving parameters and overlapped with the real image. I think this is an important result that highlights the limitations of standard FEM. Due to these results, I argue that mixed FEM should always be used for estimation and control of soft robots made of incompressible materials. Of course, this is a proof of concept and there are many things to improve. For example, the problem is often non-convex and the solution is sensitive to the initial guess. I also tested the framework with two simple control scenarios. The first one rediscovered the cable length parameters from an existing forward simulation. And the second was a classical end effector targeting scenario where the solver found the closest configuration to the target point. This shows that the code framework works and can be extended to more complex scenarios or uh, more intricate loss functions, for example, using image differences and neural networks. In conclusion, I have presented an FEM framework for estimating parameters and control for cable-driven silicon soft robots. The main takeaway is that mixed FEM deals better with incompressible materials by avoiding locking and estimating the true material parameters. The framework also contains a realistic cable model and it was validated using synthetic and real-life examples. I would like to thank to Max Craig Bell and Nielsen for providing me with soft robots and materials for this work. Surely there is much to do in the future and many limitations to address, but overall, I think the community can benefit from the contributions made in this short paper. Now I will uh, let you briefly watch some of the scenarios implemented using this simulator and the inverse problem solving framework. The videos can be later found as additional material to the paper. Thank you for your attention and do not hesitate to contact me for questions and discussion.